Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Smart Trader. Hope you guys are doing great. And if you have not yet watched our live trading video of what we uploaded in the afternoon, check out that video so you will get to know what went through from Monday to Thursday and all those challenges. And moreover, I spoke about SBI, uh, how things are getting controlled during, you know, option selling, too much of option selling and uh, stock is going sideways. Once uh, the expiry is almost over today, end of the day or even Friday, that can be certain blast in the stock. So if you see, that's what it happened. If I put on a one minute chart and show you. So as the day is ending, you see the blast happening from that 418 levels to almost 429 levels. So it has blasted all these levels. So this was the movement which I was waiting from two days. But whereas, you know, it was kept sideways, not allowing the stock to go up. See, this was the resistance. So we exited around these area. But because of the issues of margin, I had to exit my position and save myself. Uh, I was not expecting that to happen, but I was expecting this moment. This is the moment. So patiently waiting after the expiry or maybe till Friday was the idea, but never thought it would happen like that. But anyways, just an idea how things are controlled in the monthly expiry and later it is released so that full buyers came into picture later till then it was controlled almost. So that was just a learning for you. So two other stocks for you to learn. One is Adani Transmission and Wipro. Adani Transmission, be very careful. The stock may not see certain volume suddenly, but if you see today, the volume is around like three crores. Okay. Overall, if you see the stock is in a bullish rally overall, if you see from this 200 levels, it's just going and going few profit booking corrections taking place. So the stock can be volatile. Okay. So for that's the reason I kept in the list for you to observe these type of stocks. What happens to these type of stock? Sometimes the volume won't come into picture. So if you see one hour, all these candles you see sideways and uh, one minute, it's going to be very volatile. Okay. So this is how it moves. So this is one learning for you guys. And this is how it controls itself in different levels. So mark your levels, the levels are, so I'm bringing one hour for you to see. Okay. So close around 1435 near our support line and then we have 1425. Upside we have 1444 and 1452, 1462, 1471, 1481. These are the levels for Adani transmission. Be very careful with this stock. It can be highly volatile. Look at the size of the candles of one hour. Okay. Next one is Wipro, pretty decent stable stock overall in a bullish. This was in our radar also. Now, if you see, here, let's show this. So if you see here, if I just draw. So you saw this breakout. This was the breakout. This was the channel at which it was moving. And then there is a breakout of around 420 levels, 430 confirmation. And then price action traders have taken an advantage in this particular stock. Okay. Just an example for you. But as of now, you just check levels for intraday scalping. So these are the levels. Um, support is going to be 535 and 530 levels. Upside is going to be 545 and 550 levels. You can see where the stock opens and it trades between these levels. So these are the two stocks for you to learn only. Like you can take advantage on your paper trading according to me. If you are good at trading, do based on your own decision or talk to your investment advisor if you have any. But learning is the key here. My intention is to only teach for you guys. These are two stocks which you can observe. Most of you guys are already doing it. And like I told, if you want, you can add Bollinger and Haikanashi to take certain advantage. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please do hit that like and subscribe. See you soon in my next video. Till then, take care. Stay safe.